Hey guys, it's Jimnir and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to do our multi-stream with this new plugin from Stream Elements. That's right, they released this new ultimate plugin for multi-streaming that not only allows you to multi-stream, gives you a multi-chat and gives you multi-alert feed so you can monitor everything in OBS Studio. It's kind of ridiculous, it's still in beta, but I thought I'd show you guys on how to set up here today, so let's get right into it. So what you need to do is download Stream Elements SE Live, which I will have a link to it down below. Once you're on this page here, what you wanna do is actually click on the top right where it says login, and you would just wanna log in with your YouTube or Twitch. Once you log in though, you should be on your Stream Elements dashboard. What you wanna do is go to the top right icon here for your profile and click on the se live download you want to just download this on your computer and you want to run it and install it onto your computer for yourself now keep in mind it will ask you if you do want to install obs studio 2 you don't need to actually check that box so i'm going to see here there's that box i'm just not going to check it and i'm going to install it now one of the first things you will need to do is actually go to the top left with the new plugin and actually click on it and you want to go to actually se live versions you want to go to the beta version and you want to run this so just click yes and install the latest versions with the new features once you load up obs now and you see on the top here you should see stream elements which is the new plugin we got now if you click on this you'll get access to se live docs which is the big thing you can actually get an alert feed if you click on this it'll give you access to cool little alert feed i've already have it in my obs here but you just want to make sure the places where i want most likely will be defaulted on the right side but you can just adjust this in places where you want i'm gonna leave it here for the time being and this alert feed can have your youtube alerts to even follow alerts from your twitch i don't get many follows on twitch uh so just something to keep in mind about that it will have all your alerts there and the other thing you can do if you go back up to the stream elements thing is click on this go to the se live docs again you can get a multi-chat and this multi-chat can have access to your twitter to your even access to uh your twitch and youtube so for me personally i've already connected a few things i've connected my twitch i've connected my youtube for my gaming channel and my tech channel and also for my twitter in order to make sure you have all your chats connected properly you will need to make sure to log into your actual platforms via the stream elements dashboard so we're on here already we want to go top right to our profile icon and we want to go into actually owner and then owner you want to click on channel settings and in here you will get access to some private information about your accounts like your account id email and stuff uh but what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and once you're on the bottom here you will see access to add youtube at your twitch channel trovo uh x and what you would just do is log into one of these platforms or to all of them if you have an account for these social medias now another thing you can do is add your tiktok chat and all you have to do is go back to the stream elements area under your se doc you'll see this one called tiktok chat and you can add it now i've already added for myself for a time being you will need to log into this with a qr code via your phone and it isn't fully working yet so like they have access to uh tiktok live streaming but you can sign into tiktok and it just doesn't work right now once they release the full version and it's out of beta i assume you'll be able to just stream like uh stream labs with the tiktok integrated and that is so nice so i'm really looking forward to seeing how they do this with it just kind of annoying that they have it right here but it's not available yet you're teasing me you're teasing me now the next thing you can do is add the multi-stream part which is the biggest thing about this is by going to the top area stream elements you go up here into the docs and go to the multi-stream plugin part so once you open this on up it will connect to whatever platforms you have you can see i've already have a few things but if you want to add a platform for yourself like a youtube twitch or kick you click on the plus icon here add your youtube twitch or kick or even your tiktok or custom actual rtmps for maybe some other platform like facebook instagram or something like that so once you log into one of your accounts you can actually mess with the settings so you can actually set something as your primary as you can see right now i've set my twitch as my primary platform i wish to stream to you can actually go into your settings of this too to mess with it if you really want to if you want to like mess with the actual track what all track you want to use so that way like let's say for example you're streaming to youtube you only want to have your track one and track two for your gameplay and mic that way you can have track three and be music go to twitch you can actually set that here which is pretty nice then if you want to stream to one of these platforms all you have to do is click this toggle here so you can see right here you actually can toggle your thing off and on so right now of course this is a locked but i want to stream to tiktok i can toggle it off or on and my youtube so let's just say for example here i want to stream to my twitch and my youtube i just check both of these but let's just say for example here you want to go live now to these two platforms all they do is click start streaming and before it goes live it will ask you some questions like hey what do you want to do for your youtube so you can see right here i already have a prepared stream i have clicked on this one for my youtube but you can't actually 
toggle this to be something completely different. You can also mess with the category of games. You can say gaming and I've set to Apex. You can set the stream to public. You can also set it to unlisted or private. So I'm saying private for timing, just for testing. And you can mess with the stream key. So I have a few different stream keys at the one that's going to this stream right now, but you can't customize this however you want because there are multiple. And then for your Twitch, same thing. You can mess with the title, the category of your stream. So you can actually mess with everything in here, which is really nice compared to the other one where you have to go to each different platform before going live to make sure everything's set up properly, which is just kind of annoying. But at the same end of the day, you get a lot more flexibility with the other one. But this one just makes it significantly nicer. But once everything's working, all you do is click start streaming. With that though, you can see now we're live on Twitch, which is awesome. And we're also streaming right now to YouTube as well. Now it is considered a scheduled stream, which is kind of annoying. And you do also have to customize the thumbnail in here. So just make sure to prepare that ahead of time. So that is how you use the new Stream Elements SE Live multi-streaming plugin. If you guys did find this video helpful here today, Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some of future tech content because later here we got some PC builds. And I will say one thing, the new Stream Elements SC Live thing is really good. Do I think I'll be using it for the time being? I think I'll use the multi-chat and alert feed thing. I kind of like the normal multi-stream plugin because it just has a lot more flexibility with the bit rate and also the audio channels to a little higher degree. But I feel like this one's gonna be awesome for people who are getting into multi-streaming, who are beginners who don't want to get too crazy with the settings. I'll see you guys when I want Tech Grant out.